Hey everyone, if you watched my summer reading video for 2024, all the books that I have been planning on reading this summer, you would know that on my list was The Rom-Commers by Catherine Center. I discovered Catherine Center a couple years ago and I have loved every book that I have read of hers. What I like most about her is that she is able to tell these really funny, awesome stories, but there's not too much spice. She even says you can read these books with your grandma, but it's still really fun. And so I have really enjoyed reading her books. And this book came out last Tuesday. I had pre-ordered it, so I've been waiting for it for quite a while. And then I had the absolute privilege of meeting her in St. Louis at the St. Louis County Library. She was amazing. She was delightful. She spoke for about 45 minutes and then did a question and answer session. And it was so much fun to hear her speak. To be a great author, you don't have to be a good speaker too. I mean, there's no requirement for that, but oh my goodness, she was an amazing speaker. So funny, just like in her books. And so I'm going to share with you just a short clip of when she read from her book and it was just a really delightful scene. One of the things that she says throughout her talk is that it's not a spoiler, it's just something to look forward to. So this is not a spoiler, just something to look forward to when you get your rom commerce book and read it, which I highly recommend. Here, Charlie blinked, and I found myself wondering if this might be news to him. I went on, a rom com should give you a swoony, hopeful, delicious, rising feeling of anticipation as you look forward to the moment when the two leads who are clearly mad for each other finally overcome all their obstacles, both internal and external, and get together. And look how beautiful this book is. These pages here she shared with us is the design of the dress that she wears in one of the big scenes of the book, which is really cool. And she was supposed to wear that on the cover, but then you couldn't see the title with the way the dress was designed on the cover. So they have a different dress. And another fun thing she shared was these characters look exactly like who she had in mind when she was writing these characters. And his hair is John Green's hair, like the guy who wrote The Fault in Our Stars. And, um, all those other delightful books and he has a great youtube channel it's fun anyway that's his hair <laughs> so that's fun she said she gets a lot of comments about people telling her she should write more spicy stuff and so she's thought about it and then one time at the breakfast table she was just like should i write spicy should i do that and her daughter was walking by and was like i for one would never want to read that <laughs> so she said okay that solves it i will not be writing spicy stuff she also said that her husband is a middle school teacher and a lot of his students read her books and that if she wrote spicy things that would just be awkward but why she's so good at her job as a writer is that she can still write all those beautiful love feelings you get so excited about when they're going to kiss but it's not over the top with the spicy scenes like in a lot of books that are out these days I loved meeting her. I'll show some pictures and a little montage right here. I went with my dear friend, Megan, and she is one of my reading buddies and one of my teacher friends. I think it takes a lot of energy to do what Catherine Center did that night. She spent so much time with everyone in line. Some people had stacks of books like 10 high and she signed all of them. She was so kind and gracious and just really fun to talk to. I felt like I had made a friend and then she moved on to the next person, probably made them feel just as special. So she definitely has a gift of making you feel special. And she, you can tell she loves her job. She loves to write, loves to share her stories and she's a lot of fun. One of the things she did say is that everyone should watch Crash Landing on You, the Korean drama, the South Korean drama. It is so good. I have watched it and so has my friend Megan. You should watch that. If you have nothing else to do this summer besides read all these books, you should also watch Crash Landing on You. And it's a show that is friendly for the whole family and it's really great. So my whole family has watched most of it. We're almost finished. Here's her signature to me and my sister. And she wrote Sisters Are the Best because I told her how my sister and I read books together and how we share comments throughout the books. And then I also got this for my sister. We both have loved happiness for beginners and so she signed that as well. She also talked about this scene with making biscuit donuts and so now I've made them like three times for my family since I saw her last Tuesday and it hasn't even been a week. So um, they're delicious. They're just biscuits. You crack the can open, tear them apart 
and cook them in oil and dip them in sugar and it's amazing. And so uh, here's a picture of that. No doubt this was one of the best books I read this summer so far. And so you should definitely go out and get your copy. I do think you should buy it because it's beautiful. You should have your own copy on your shelf if you're able to. Otherwise, borrow from a friend, get it from the library, of course. And if you have a chance to check her tour schedule out, you should and see if she's coming to a town near you so you can go hear her speak. It was amazing. She was so much fun. I can't wait to go again next year when she speaks again about her newest book coming out that's going to be coming out next summer, I believe. She shared secrets about her next book coming out, so that was fun. So you'll have to go hear her speak so that you can hear those secrets about her newest book that she's finished writing and that is now in publication. Okay, I hope you guys are having a great time reading this summer. I'll see you next time. Bye.